the reason that we're doing this is because um, we knew that if we don't try, the other option is severe developmental delay. Prior to this procedure, there were no options for babies less than three months who had hemimegalencephaly and were suffering from severe seizures and significant developmental decline. And once we came up with this procedure, we found that these children do actually have amazing outcomes if we intervene as soon as possible. Uh, as a neonatologist, I have um, my role is to treat each patient as a, like as a whole. So. This is not only about the brain. You have to support every organ and you have to um, really set up the ground for success. And a very critical part uh, for the neonatal care is also um, after the procedure, because we are dealing in a, with a situation in which the baby's brain is still there and we have blocked the blood supply to this part. So the, ba the brain uh, part that is diseased will be necrosed, will be like dying. This diseased dead part of the brain that is remaining there is actually causing inflammation and like is the body is fighting that part. So we have to minimize um, the, the body's response to this diseased part of the brain that is still around. Each case we've learned something uh, incredible and it's really helped how we tweak the procedure for the next patient. I will say that for our last three patients we've sort of gotten into a rhythm where we know generally the number of procedures um, and the seizure management um, as well as the neonatology care in terms of the swelling and the bleeds that uh, is probably the most effective. We have the experts that really deal with the most complex cases. And most of the experts that deal with the most complex, uh, complex cases are also researchers too. This is a curious group. This is a group that wants to make a change, wants to make a difference, wants to push the envelope further. This should be really done at centers like Children's National. You really need you know, a high level neonatal unit. You need experts uh, in neonatal epilepsy and seizures and you need a you know a really skilled neurointerventional radiologist and neurosurgery team